cassette tapes. Yeah, so we are going to party like it is 1984, except we're going to do that in a modern way. Cassette tapes have uh, had a bit of a resurgence lately, which is an interesting thing. So cassette depths are starting to get a little bit more expensive. This is a modern cassette tape. It was produced for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and it contains all the music from the film. They've uh, styled it to look like it was handwritten, but it is not. It is uh, mass-produced and printed. It's just a clear ferric tape. I believe this is a C90, which means it's 45 minutes on each side. And then you've got this uh, J card. It's called a J card because it looks like a letter J. <laughs> And this contains your uh, your front cover and your music information and that sort of thing. There's a few different kinds of these. Not all of them have these panels. But yeah, we are going to make our own mixtape. And we're going to print our own J-cards and print our own sticky labels to go on it. So the first thing I am going to need is some way to record the tape. And what I've got for that is one of these RCA to 3.5mm audio jack cables. The RCA will go into the back of my tape deck, which is a Yamaha tape deck. Which means it's pretty good, because all Yamaha tape decks are, in my opinion. The next thing we're going to need is a blank tape to record onto. So this is a TDK C90. It's ferric tape, which means it's pretty much the cheapest kind of tape you can get. This is one from, I believe, the late 90s. It's, uh, it's only been recorded to on once. I bought these as a big batch. They were ex-police interview tapes, and they've all been wiped. So normal tapes come with uh, some stickers for the front. And they come with one of these J cards. We won't be needing this because we'll be printing our own because the nice lads over at Tapeline have uh, produced some uh, pre punched ones. Ooh, focus. There we go. So these ones, uh, you just punch them out. So the edge, it's all uh, pre perforated. So you can print on these. They're in US letter size and they're very, very reasonably priced. We are also going to need some sticky labels. So I bought these before I knew the uh, the guys at Tape Line did those, but these were from Amazon and they came with their own template, which is pretty good uh, for all labels, paper labels, desktop printers, blah, blah, blah. But basically what these are, are the uh, full sticky front labels that you can print on. So you can produce something exactly like that if your printer's good enough. I am going to be printing on the cheapest HP PhotoSmart printer you can buy, which was about £60 when I bought it. It's okay, but it's not amazing. So we'll see what kind of quality we can get. Uh, I managed to get a template for these in PDF format from the guys who produced them, which was very, very good of them. They just sent it over, I popped it in Photoshop, and produced my own, uh, my own J card, as well as producing my own labels so we need to go and get the uh, the cable hooked up and sort some music out so this is going to be a retro wave tape so I'm going to go and get some freely available retro wave music and then put it through audacity and stick it into something I can record from my phone <laughs>
that's it then. Mixtape complete. So I've printed on uh, on the inside of the J card, side one, side two, and what tracks are on them. So I suppose we better go and play some music.